Question number 156. Select the unpaired chestnut shaped structure in human male reproductive system. Here we have a diagram of the human male reproductive system. As we know that there are three accessory glands, seminal vesicle here, which are paired as well as bulbourethral glands which are also paired. The prostate gland is a chestnut shaped the prostate gland is a chestnut shaped unpaired gland present in the male reproductive system. Let us see the option seminal vesicle incorrect as it is paired bulbourethral incorrect as it is paired Carpus glands incorrect as carpus glands are bulbourethra glands. Number 4 prostate gland is the correct answer. So the correct option becomes option number 4. Moving on to the next question students. Question number 157. Several mammary ducts join to form a wider mammary ampulla which is connected to dash through which milk is sucked out. Choose the option which fills the blank correctly. Let us see the movement of milk here. In the diagram, formation of milk occurs in mammary alveoli from where it is carried to the mammary duct. From where it is carried to the mammary duct. The mammary duct opens into the mammary ampulla and several mammary ampullae join to form the large lactiferous duct from where milk is sucked out. So the correct option from where milk is sucked out is lactiferous duct. So the correct answer becomes option number 2. Moving on to the next question students. Question number 158. For normal fertility, at least how many sperms per ejaculation must have normal shape and size? Per ejaculation, about 200 to 300 million sperms are present out of which 60% must possess normal shape and 40% of them must show vigorous motility. Therefore, for fertility, normal shape and size, 60% of the sperm count should be present, which roughly comes out to about 120 to 180 million. Let us see the options. 120 to 180 million is correct. Number 2. 200 to 300 million, this is the sperm count, so incorrect. Number 3, 80 to 120 million, this is incorrect, as these many should have vigorous motility for fertility. Number 4, 48 to 72 million is also incorrect. So, the correct answer becomes option number 1. Moving on to the next question, students. Question number 159. Choose the incorrect statement with respect to oogenesis in humans. Let us read the options. Number one, first polar body does not undergo meiosis 2 and usually dies. This is a correct statement. Option number two, the ovum is released from ovary at secondary oocyte stage after the release of the polar body. This is also a correct statement as during ovulation, the secondary oocyte is released from the ovaries. Number three, thick coat of zona pellucida is composed of glycoproteins and synthesized by ovum itself. This is also a correct statement as zona pellucida is a non-cellular layer and is composed of glycoproteins which is synthesized by the ovum itself which is why it is called primary membrane. Number 4, the primary follicle soon transforms into the tertiary follicle which is characterized by theca interna but not antrum. This is an incorrect statement as the primary follicle transforms into a secondary follicle which then transforms into a tertiary follicle which is characterized by the presence of follicular antrum which is filled with follicular fluid. So the incorrect option is option number 4. So the answer becomes option number 4. Moving on to the next question. Question number 160. Among the following, which phase of the normal menstrual cycle is of fixed duration? 
This question has been asked repeatedly in NEET exam and this forms a very important concept of menstrual cycle. So let us see the options. Number one, pre-ovulatory phase. This is incorrect as the pre-ovulatory phase is the follicular phase which may vary during a menstrual cycle. Number two, luteal phase is the correct option as luteal phase is of fixed duration that is 14 days. Number three, follicular phase is incorrect. Number two, menstrual phase is also incorrect as menstrual phase lasts for about three to five days. So the correct answer here becomes luteal phase. So the correct answer becomes option number two. Moving on to the next question. Mm -hmm.